Did Silent Hill's plot just get leaked? Well, let's look into it. So there's a Silent Hill game coming called Silent Hill Short Message, and this game will be short, just like the name. Allegedly, the synopsis of this game got leaked on Discord, and there's no guarantee that this will be authentic. But let me read it to you. Anita is invisible in her class, though she has one friend, Maya, whom she's known since she was a kid, and still makes time for when no one else really will. However, more recently, Anita and Maya had been growing a bit apart due to Anita developing destructive habits, such as looking at shocking things on the internet, slitting her wrists, venting things out into a story she had been working on, etc. However, one day, to the shock of the class, Maya is found dead, having committed suicide. Anita has a lot of complicated emotions due to her own feelings about suicide and her own struggles, and she decides to go to the place that Maya took her life to better understand what Maya was going through, and maybe how she felt going through it. She also gets curious since someone is continuing to post on Maya's social media even after her death. It has to be someone else, of course, but who even is it? So this is what the basic premise is. If you are an anime fan, then you must have noticed that this plot is very similar to an anime called Serial Experimental Lane. This could be a coincidence or just inspiration. At the end, what will matter is whether the game is good or not. By the way, the release date is still 2023. Number 2. New leaks about EA Sports FC came out, and we learned a lot of things about them. First of all, the cover athlete will be Erling Braut Holland. Release date will be September 29th, 2023. The price will be $60 or $70 for different platforms. Now let's move on to the next one. So finally, the Mortal Kombat 1 trailer was released, and in my opinion it was tough. Here it is. The Lin Kuei is a centuries-old clan dedicated to Earthrealm's defense. I will need your help. The fate of the realms may depend on it. I will emerge victorious. We settle for defending Earthrealm when we could help lead it. Smoke, there's fire. Whatever it takes, I am with you. We may not share blood, but we are brothers. Abandon tradition. The Lin Kuei. We have been expecting you. Liu Kang sent you to learn our secrets. Rain will fall upon you like daggers from the sky. Also, another trailer for Hell Drivers 2 got released. This game is looking decent if you ask me, but yeah, at the end, only time will tell. Here's the trailer.
Leverage 2 is a tactical third-person cooperative action shooter. Hi, I'm Johan Pielset. I'm the CEO and creative director of Arrowhead. One thing that will be really familiar in Helldivers 2 for returning players is the stratagem system. For those of you that are new, this is the ace up your sleeve. It's a system that allows you to interface with the many elements of the Super Earth arsenal, such as the Super Earth Destroyer, the Eagle Fighter, and the multitude of weapons and equipment that you can call down as you play the game. My favorite stratagem in Helldivers 2 is the Gatling Sentry. A killing machine unleash its devastating firepower into a swarm of enemies is truly a wondrous sight with this new third-person perspective. The mission you're playing is a big part of choosing your strategies. My name is Michael Eriksson and I'm a game director at Arrowhead Game Studios. If you're facing off against a heavily armored foe, you want to bring specialized armor-penetrating weapons. But if you're blowing up a bug hive, make sure to bring orbital barrages or other highly explosive stratagems. The armor system that we've developed in the game is inspired by real firearms fired against armor targets. So this means that a shot at a shallow angle will get deflected and not penetrate the intended target. When you choose your armor, make sure it fits your intended playstyle. If you want to play as a tank, pick a heavy armor with high resistance. I usually play with the light armor because of the increased mobility and decreased enemy detection range. In Helldivers 2, death is cheap. All right, everyone, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it informative. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.